first two of the sonnets, the Glanmore sonnets. Glanmore is a place in County Wicklow, south of Dublin, where Seamus Heaney and his family moved in the early 1970s. And the dedication for these poems is for Anne Saddlemar, our heartiest welcomer. One. Vows ploughed into other open ground. The mildest February for 20 years is misbands over furrow, deep no sound vulnerable to distant garden tractors. Our road is steaming, the turned up acres breathe. Now the good life could be to cross a field and art a paradigm of earth new from the lathe of ploughs. My lee is deeply tilled. Old plough socks gorge the subsoil of each sense, and I am quickened with the relevance of farmland as a dark unblown rose. Wait then, resting the mist in sores aprons, my ghosts come striding into their spring stations. The dream grain whirls like freakish Easter snows. Two. Sensings, mountings from the hiding places, words entering almost a sense of touch, ferishing themselves out of their dark hutch. These things are not secrets but mysteries. Oshin Kelly told me years ago in Belfast, hankering after a stone that connived with the chisel, as if the grain remembered what the mallet tapped to know. Then I landed in the head school of Glamour, and from the backs of dishes hoped to raise a voice cut back off slughorn and slow chanter that might continue, hold, despair, appease. Vows, vows, ploughed into other open ground, each verse returning like the plough turned round. This poem, Casting and Gathering, is from Seeing Things, and it's a happy memory for me because I heard Seamus read from this um, collection when it first came out at the, uh, in 1991, I think it was, uh, at the Abbey Theatre. And, uh, so, Casting and Gathering. For ten years. years and years ago, these sounds took sides. On the left bank, a green silk tapered cast went whispering through the air, saying, Hush and lush, and entirely free, no matter whether it swished above the hayfield or the river. On the right bank, like a speeded up corn crake, a sharp ratcheting went on and on, cutting across the stillness as another fisherman gathered time line lengths off his reel. I am still standing there, awake and dreamy. I have grown older and can see them both moving their arms and rods working away, each one absorbed, proofed by the sounds he's making. One sound is saying, you're not worth a tons, but neither is anybody. Hmm. Watch it. Be severe. The other says, go with it. Give and swerve. Swerve. You are everything you feel beside the river. I love hushed air, I trust contrariness. Years and years go past, and I do not move, for I see that when one man casts, the other gathers, and then vice versa, without changing sides. And I love this haiku that he wrote. Um, 
treacherous pavements, but I faced the ice this year with my father's stick. <laughs>